Well, I uh, grew up uh, as a field house rat. My dad uh, was my head football coach and athletic director, and uh, every day after school, every weekend, every ball game, uh, I was at the field house. I was riding that yellow, yellow dog to all the games with him, and uh, you know, it was just it was in my blood. It was in my family. Three of my four brothers are football coaches, and uh, it's who we are. Uh, I've been very fortunate uh, to have been around a lot of great players in my 26 years. Uh, a lot of guys have gone on and played football in the NFL. Uh, but, but um, you know, as, as well as that, uh, a lot of great young men who uh, gave their hearts, souls uh, for the game, uh, gave a lot of effort, uh, really believed in what we were doing and teaching, and uh, some of them, uh, you know, have, are still my dear friends today. And uh, as much as anything, I cherish the relationships that, and the bond that I build with the players over the years. You know, I've uh, had players I've coached that were actually in my wedding and players I've coached uh, that I've been in their weddings. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a great camaraderie. Uh, it's a great bond. It's a bond that you share for a lifetime. And I, I cherish my 26 years and as much as anything, the relationships that I've been able to develop with players over the years. The memories and the, and the, and the relationships uh, and the friendships that you, you carry for a lifetime uh, way outweigh the, the wins and losses, period. I coached with uh, Coach Mark Stoops in 2000. I knew at that time he was a big time football coach. I knew at that time he would be a head coach. and. I also thought at that time, if he's ever a head football coach, I hope I get get, get a call. And uh, I did, and uh, I was very honored that he would think of me uh, as one of the nine assistants on this staff. And uh, when I was offered a job to coach at the University of Kentucky, uh, I said yes without hesitation. His passion, his plan, uh, the, the way he outlined how we would recruit, how we would coach, uh, his commitment to special teams, offense and defense, it was a no-brainer. And I'm very proud to be here. I've loved the town. I love the Big Blue Nation. Uh, it's, it's very, very powerful. You can talk about all those great um, uh, teams out there in the country, uh, the, the teams that have um, all the great history and, and great fans. Let me tell you something. It hey, don't take long to figure out there's not a better place in the University of Kentucky, but any better fans in the country than right here in Lexington, Kentucky. The number one thing you know, that I know it's Coach Stoops' philosophy as well is we want to group character. Guys that have a lot of class, a lot of character, and uh, that we bring into this program, you know, because, you know, uh, cream rises to the top. And uh, so, with that said, you know, the, the, the element we're looking for is guys are going to come in and do the right things. They're going to go to class. They're going to be on time for meetings. You know, that's coaching, too. You take that element out of it, now all you got to worry about is, is strictly coaching football. You know, because the academics will take care of themselves. The uh, off the field, the social uh, aspect will take care of itself. And that's what we want. But at the same time, I want guys on the field, guys are going to play hard. Uh, they're going to give a lot of effort. And uh, you know, when we grade that tape, that effort column is going to have plus, 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 plus. And, uh, you know, you, you win with good players, there's no doubt about it. But, you know, players that are, that are overachievers, that uh, really work hard to, to make themselves better, is something that, that really excites me. Hit, scoop, and score. Bing those names. Here we go. Walk through. Good job, man. Good job. The football is all about coaching. And, and there's old philosophy out there, and it's one that, that I believe in, along with Coach Stoops. Either you're coaching it or you're letting it happen. And you know, if you recruit the right kind of players, and when I say that, I'm talking about on and off the field. You know, you, you, now all you have to do is worry about getting that guy to the next level. Coach him, make him better than he is, make the average guy great, make the great player better. And if you do that, then the nucleus of your football team will be one that you can win championships with. Well, you know what? Uh, I'm old school. You know, I said my dad was a was a football coach, and uh, you know he was a, a strict disciplinarian, and uh, that's kind of how I was raised. I, I think the most important thing in coaching is to coach who you are, coach with your personality. Hey, play when we're tired. You know, I still get a little knot in my stomach before each practice because I want my guys to be perfect. I want to do a great job of coaching. I still get that little nervous feeling, uh, you know, to prepare great, to, to make sure that everything's in order, that you've covered, that you've prepared your guys. And, uh, you know, with that said, it, it lets you coach at a high level and, uh, and with a lot of emotion. No, no, help it! No, help! 
There you go. One hoe, one hoe, one hoe, one hoe. It's a big daddy. Woo! Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. It's just, it's, it's my personality, you know. And uh, when I come off the field, if, if I've screwed it up, you know, I feel just like I do after a game. I mean, my, my, my gut's burning. And if I feel like we fill in all cylinders and the guys have, have practiced well, they, they know what to do, they've been in the right spots, they've not blown assignments, then I feel like I've done my job. Because I, I go back to one philosophy. The one thing I'm not going to do as a coach, I'm not going to point fingers. If my players aren't doing it, I'm not coaching it. Bottom line. If you don't prepare them, you don't practice, and they don't do it the way it's supposed to be during the week, during the spring, during the fall, then it's not going to happen on the field. So with that said, that's kind of how I live my life.